Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to group numbers in a pivot table in Excel. Here I have the retail sales data so I have date, store, region and the sales value. And using this data we will create a pivot table so I would select any cell here go to insert and here I would select pivot table. And I would click on OK making sure that this range is correct. I click on OK and it inserts additional sheet with the pivot table. In this case I would drag store here in the rows area then I would also drag sales here in the rows area below stores so you would get something like this and I would also drag sales here in the values area. Now as of now this pivot table looks useless because it's just giving me the same digits here same sales value but what I want to know here is how many transactions between a group of let's say 0 to 250 uh, value happened for store 1 and similarly how many transactions between the range 250 to 500 happened for store 1. So to do that I need to group these numbers here and to group these I would select any of these cells go to analyze here and go to group selection. It will open this grouping dialog box and I can specify the starting and ending value of the group. In this case it has automatically picked up 123. I can change this to let's say 0 and the ending would be 1250. And I want these intervals to be of 250 units. In this case it would be uh, the currency, the amount and you can decide what interval you want and now I would click OK. And as soon as I do this you can see that I have these groups for all the stores. In this case there was no value below 250 so it started the group from 250 to 499. In case of store 2 here there was a value below 250 so it has a group of 0 to 249. And another thing that I want to do is I want to change this from sum to count so that I would know that how many transactions happen in this group. So I would go to sum of sales here and I would change the value field setting to count. And now what this tells me is that there were five transactions and the value was between 250 to 499. Here there were eight transactions between 500 to 749 and so on. So this is how you can quickly group numbers in a pivot table. In this case I have these for each store here in the column. If you want you can also have this here in the row. So I would simply drag this and put it in the columns area and now it's easier to read and easier to compare. So this is how you can quickly group numbers in a pivot table in Excel. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.